Hi, and welcome to this PC Answers tutorial on upgrading your hard drive. Now, I don't know about you, but I never have enough space on my machine. So, it's always useful to be able to add an extra hard drive. Now, this model that we're looking at is a Western Digital 2 terabyte drive, which is a, one of the biggest ones that you can actually buy at the moment. And we would certainly advise that you buy the, the largest drive that you can afford, because you soon use up the space. If I can just show you some of the features of this drive, it's a serial ATA or SATA drive, which means it has these connectors on the back. Now, these are jumper settings for the, for the drive. You normally won't need to touch those. This is the actual data cable that connects to the motherboard, and this is the power cable, which connects to the power supply. Now, on some SATA drives, there is also a, another power connector for a legacy connection to older motherboards. This one doesn't have one. If you don't have a, an up-to-date motherboard, you may need to get an adapter for the power connector or buy a drive that does have the old-style power adapter on it. On the bottom is the circuit board area, which you must try not to touch. Um, as you can see, I'm holding it by the side of the drive. Um, the electronics are very sensitive, so keep your fingers clear of this. So now we've taken the side panel off the computer and we're ready to install the drive. And the first thing to do is to find an appropriate drive bay to install the drive into. So it looks like this bay above the existing hard drive would be the best place for our new drive to sit. There's plenty of space around it and we should be able to easily get the cables in there. Now before you start poking around actually inside the computer, it's best for the safety of the computer and yourself to earth yourself by touching the chassis. In fact, you should try and do that regularly if you, if you remember. It stops the build-up of static electricity, uh, which could damage some of the components on your machine. If you have an electrostatic um, wristband, then by all means wear it. That's even better. So, as we're going to put the drive in this bay, we want to make sure that we can easily slide the drive in there. At the moment, this cable, which is the SATA cable for the drive that is already in the machine, is sort of in the way a little bit. So I'm just going to pull that out, and it does just pull out. And now there's uh, enough space to slide this drive, the new Western Digital drive, into that gap. And I will just put that in. And I'll try not to force it. It should slide home quite easily. On this case, we have a, a fancy locking mechanism which slides over to lock the drive. And we can see that that is now securely in place. Now, first thing I want to do is reconnect the data cable for the drive that we took out. Just slots in quite securely. And now we also need to connect up the data cable and the power cable for the new drive. Uh, it's usually best to work from furthest away to nearest towards you, so it's easier to put the power cable in first. And if you're not sure what the power cable looks like, check the drive that's already there, because that probably has a power cable connected, and there's often another output on it, and here it is, that's a SATA power output. Check the way it's orientated. There is a, a little lug on the end of it. And that just slips on the back of the drive. And finally, we need to add a new data cable for the new drive. I've got a nice orange one so I can tell them apart. And we plug that into the motherboard. And now checking the orientation of the connector. There's a put that into the back of the 2 terabyte drive. Now, finally, before you close up the lid, make sure that any cables that you've moved around don't get in the way of fans, like this fan on this graphics card. Just tuck them out of the way, otherwise you might hear some funny noises. If you've got some cable ties, then by all means use those as well. Okay, so now we've safely installed the drive, the next step is to set it up using Windows. 
So now we've installed our hard drive into the computer. We've restarted the computer. And you may have noticed when it started up a little message appearing in the system tray telling you that a new drive had been found. Now, sometimes your drive may have come pre-formatted from the manufacturer, uh, but oftentimes it's completely blank and we need to set it up. And we will do this by running some software, computer management, which is part of Windows. If you open the start bar, select run, and type this in, and OK, and you'll get this window up here, and just extend it out. And this is for managing various services and systems on your computer. And the one we want is in storage, disk management. OK, now, we already had some drives in this machine, um, um, which you can see have already been set up. And if we look in the lower panel, we can see these other drives and their partitions. Disk 2 is unallocated, it's blank, and it has a black bar across it. And a quick look at the size confirms that that's our, our two terabyte drive that we just installed. So if I click on that, and I right click to get the menu and choose a new partition. And that starts the new partition wizard. Click on next. Select the partition you want to create. Um, just leave it at a primary partition, unless you're creating multiple partitions. Um, you may as well just leave it as one. Specify the partition size. It automatically selects the maximum size possible. And we're just going to format this as one great big drive. Assign the following drive letter. You can choose a drive letter for Windows to call the drive. D is a sensible choice. And the formatting information, you get to choose the file system. We, Because of the size of this drive, we have to use NTFS. Um, you can't use FAT, which is the other common format on, on Windows machines. Um, just leave the, the allocation unit size is the, the block size of the drive. Just leave that. And we can give it a, a label, big drive. We don't need any file and folder compression, and we don't want a quick format. We'll just format it properly. And now you get a, a summary of what's going to happen. Just click on Finish, and it will actually format the drive. And this, this process may take a while on a on a large drive like this so you may have to leave it running for some time um, before the drive is actually ready so we're just going to uh, take a quick break while that happens okay the formatting is finished and uh, on this drive a, a full format took about four hours uh, just to let you know um, and as you can see, the drive now says healthy. It appears in the in the list as our big drive. And if we open up my computer, there it is. There's nothing on it, obviously. Um, but, there, but there could be. And if I click on it, you can see out of the two terabytes, uh, we have 1.81 terabytes available. Um, that's obviously because some of the size is taken up by um, the formatting information that gets written onto the disk. But that's still pretty huge. It will take you a long time to fill that up. Okay, so that's it for adding a an extra hard drive to your computer. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.